evening and welcome to the Gulf Coast Sports Network for tonight's live volleyball action. As the Eagles of Springstead, led by head coach Andrea Gracie, host the Bears of Central High School, led by head coach Maria Gebhardt. Thank you for joining us tonight for Varsity Volleyball Action. I'm Will Wilkie, bringing you the call for tonight's matchup. If you're new to the Gulf Coast Sports Network, we are a nonprofit sports media company based in Hernando County. We recommend you hit that subscribe button. It's free to subscribe, and if you turn on notifications, you'll never miss the action when we go live. Go ahead and toss us a like our way as well. We very much appreciate your viewership and your support. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back for the start of tonight's matchup and the national anthem right after this. Preparing for that next step in life isn't always easy. At Legacy Wealth Partners, our combination of experience, professionalism, and access to a wide variety of products and services to help meet all of your financial goals. For a new level of attention, insight, and capability, contact the trusted team at Legacy Wealth Partners. And we're ready to get underway. Central versus Springstead. Thank you again for joining us here on the Gulf Coast Sports Network, bringing you the action here live tonight. We do apologize that we have the stationary shot tonight. We are short a team member on a, a last-minute issue, so we'll hope that you'll bear with us. And enjoy all the action that we have here for you tonight.
The serve will start with Central. Peyton Zakowski ready to get the game going. Spike attempt by Emily Miller goes long. Central gets on the board first. Again, the serve by Zajkowski. The uh, attempt by Perry Dove goes out of bounds. 2-0 Central. Emily Miller able to connect there. Getting the Eagles on the board, and they've pulled to within one. Serving for Springstead will be number 12, Emily Miller. Central unable to return. That was a diving attempt by Gianna Carnow, but came up short on it. And the spike by Velez, Jocelyn Velez goes long. Correction, that was ruled inbounds. So point to the Bears. Now serving for the Bears, number three, Deanna Knox. That was a spike attempt by Lene James. That's going to run long as well. Pushing the advantage now for the Bears to 4-2 to two as Knox continues to serve. Serve's going to run out of bounds. 4-3 to three here in set number one. Number one, Perry Doe with the serve now for the Eagles. A beautiful tap in by number two, Michelle Geiger. Gets the job done for the Bears, pushing their advantage now to five to three. And taking the serve now for the Bears will be number two, Michelle Geiger, who just came up with that big play for the Bears. Beautiful placement by number 12, Emily Miller, to win control back to the Eagles. And pull within one. Now serving for the Eagles will be number seven, Ariana Durham. Return falls short, and Springstead has tied up this game five to five. Beautiful block on that play. Springstead is now taking the lead 6-5. to five. I believe that was Kendall Bunch on the block. The return volley by Carno runs long. And the Eagles have a run going here. They now are up 7-5. to five. 
Durham continues to serve. Stedman over for the Bears. And the set and the spike attempt there by Kendall Bunch. That's going to run long. Point to the Bears. Now serving for the Bears is number seven, Jocelyn Velez. That jump serve is going to fall in. The Bears battle back and tie up the match, seven to seven. Good communication by both teams on the volley. And that's Isabella Clato getting the point and the control for the Eagles with an 8 to 7 score. Now serving for the Eagles is Clato. The Bears return, cannot get back. 7 to 9, advantage Eagles. As Clayto will continue her serve. Can't connect on the return. And the Eagles have another run going. They've now upped their advantage to three, 10 to seven. That's gonna get over again. So clato has got something cooking. The Bears will take a timeout. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back right after this. So 11 to 7 is our score advantage. Springstead has been able to run off several consecutive points in a row. Under the serving by Isabella Clato. We hope you enjoyed tonight's broadcast. It'll also be available for archival viewing free of charge, as is our mission here at the Gulf Coast Sports Network. Plato continues on the serve as we come back from the timeout. And can't connect on the spike, though. Had some good velocity on that. It was number 12, Emily Miller. The Bears will get the point and control back. Caden Stedman now with the serve for the Bears. Diving attempt on the dig by Durham. She gets it back over on the net. But can't connect there on the second dive attempt. The Bears will get the point and retain control 11-9. Illegal contact on that play, 12 to nine. Serving now for the Eagles will be number 14, Kendall Bunch. With the jump serve, diving attempt by Carno. And the spike attempt by Miller is going to run long. 12 to 10 advantage Eagles. But control goes back over to Central. 
And now with the serve will be number one, Gianna Carno. Can't connect on the serve. Point and control over to Springstead, 13 to 10. We have a substitution. Lene James in for Ariana Durham for the Eagles. Now serving's number three, Isabella Nunig. Some miscommunication by the Eagles on that one. We'll get the point for the Bears. With the serve is number 10, Peyton Zakowski. Excellent volley here as both teams communicating well, covering their zones. And that's going to connect with the ceiling, which is in play. Point again to the Bears, and they pulled to within one, 13 to 12. Zakowski continues with her serve. Doe able to tap it over to get the point for Springstead. Substitution now, Emily Miller, number 12, coming in for Savannah Imhoff. Miller will also take control of the serve here for Springstead, 14 to 12, here in the first set and live action here on the Gulf Coast Sports Network. Jump serve gets over. Central going all out with multiple diving attempts. But not before Isabella Clado able to tap that one in there. Another point for the Eagles maintaining control and the serve by Emily Miller. Spike attempt by James falls short. Point and serve over to the Bears now, 13 to 15. We have a substitution for the Bears. Now coming in is Caden Stedman, replacing number four, Alina Alea. Ayala, correction. Now with the serve, Deanna Knox. Geiger tried to spike it back over, couldn't connect. A good attempt there. Increasing the advantage to the Eagles now. Back to three, 16 to 13. Jump serve now by Perry Doe. And Jocelyn Velez able to connect. Getting that one in there, 14 to 16. Springstead will take a timeout. Don't get it anywhere. We got live varsity volleyball action right here on the Gulf Coast Sports Network. We'll be back right after this. Navy SEAL veteran and endurance athlete Don Mann pushed his body to the limit and tried regenerative medicine when all other options failed. It's unbelievable. I just assumed I was going to be in pain forever. And I've been in pain since the 80s. Now I'm running and riding a bicycle faster than I have in seven years. Even my vision is better. I'm 100% pain-free right now, and I don't take any medications. Call Aligned Integrative Medicine for exam and x-rays to see if you qualify for regenerative treatment. So as we return from the timeout, we've had a balanced matchup here thus far. 14 to 16 is your score advantage to the Eagles. But Central has control currently with the serve by Michelle Geiger coming up. Unable to connect on the return is Stedman. 
17 to 14 now. Control back over to the Eagles. We have a substitution now coming in for the Eagles. Number seven, Ariana Durham, replacing number six, Lene James. And Durham will take the serve for the Eagles. Beautiful setup for Kendall Bunch, who spikes it home. Increasing the lead now to four for Springstead. But Central has been battling back all evening. Able to connect there is Springstead again. And they now take their largest lead of the evening now, 19 to 14. Central's gonna have to put together a run here. Durham again with the serve. Illegal touch on the play. Will net the point over to Central. Now serving for the Bears, number seven, Jocelyn Velez. Nice diving attempt by Zakowski to keep it alive for the Bears. Bunch unable to connect on the spike attempt. 16 to 19 as the Bears battle back. Velez continues with the serve for Central. Connecting with the jump serve. And that's ruled inbound. She'll get the ace. And the Bears have now pulled to within two, 17 to 19. We've got a good turnout tonight, equally balanced for both sides. Both crowds are into it and wouldn't expect anything less. We've got a lot of solid action here tonight as that connects through Plato. 20 to 17 now for Springstead. Plato now on the serve. Again, nice volley here by both teams. Bunch tries to put an end to it, but that'll run long. Point and control over to the Bears now, 18 to 20. Got a substitution for the Bears. Stedman will come out. Ayala will come in. She'll be the server now. Number four, Alina, Alina Ayala. Illegal touch on the play by the Bears. We'll run the score now to 18 to 21. Substitution now for the Bears. I believe that's Durham in for Donovan. Serve's going to make it over now, 22 to 18. As we're now rapidly approaching match point. And we've got a timeout. So we'll be back in just a moment. My name is Tom Roselli. I served in the U.S. Navy, 65 to 69. Through all the turmoil and stress battling with the VA, I've come to learn that certain organizations have their hands tied and can only proceed so far. Whereas Attorney Chris Chambers uh, has the experience and the ability to dig into the files and uh, get the results that got me my 100%. Tremendous job in helping veterans. So as we return from the timeout, we've had a battle the entire way. 22 to 18, your score currently. 
Advantage, Springstead Eagles. On the serve is number 14, Kendall Bunch. Bunch able to get that one in there despite the diving attempt by Velez. Great hustle by Velez, just unable to get enough lift on that ball. And that brings it to within game point for Springstead. If they can connect here, the Bears will be battling the entire way. Neither team giving an inch here. And the Bears are unable to connect. And that's the end of the first set. Springstead will take it. 25 to 18. So don't go anywhere. We'll take a quick break. And be back right after this for set number two. Certainly, I'm an avid golfer. Been, you know, golf usually weekly. Play a lot with uh, my wife. With the repetitive motion, as you know, with a lot of golfers, it's an unnatural motion that you put your body through. After suffering for years with shoulder pain, Mike chose stem cell therapy as an alternative to surgery. I'm just excited because patients that have been pain for years that are now doing the things that they want to do and Mike's just going to be adding to that list. Call Aligned Integrative Medicine for exam and x-rays to see if you qualify for stem cell treatment. So Springstead takes the first set. And let us tell you a little bit about our upcoming broadcast. You don't want to miss it here on the Gulf Coast Sports Network. Of course, we've got continued high school varsity volleyball action coming up. You don't want to miss that. The start times do vary. So make sure you subscribe and set your notifications to on so you don't miss any of the action. We also have high school football. You don't want to miss any of the action on the gridiron. Next game, September 10th, Springstead at Nature Coast. And we also have the rescheduled inaugural game, Wiregrass at Hernando, which has now been moved to November 2nd. Don't miss any of the action here on the Gulf Coast Sports Network. So we'll take another quick break here at the intermission. And we'll be back right after this. Preparing for that next step in life isn't always easy. At Legacy Wealth Partners, our combination of experience, professionalism, and access to a wide variety of products and services to help meet all of your financial goals. For a new level of attention, insight, and capability, contact the trusted team at Legacy Wealth Partners. My name is Tom Roselli. I served in the U.S. Navy, 65 to 69. Through all the turmoil and stress battling with the VA, I've come to learn that certain organizations have their hands tied and can only proceed so far. Whereas attorney Chris Chambers uh, has the experience and the ability to dig into the files and uh, get the results that got me my 100%. Tremendous job in helping veterans. We hope you enjoy tonight's broadcast. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Go ahead, toss a like our way as well if you're enjoying the broadcast tonight. We certainly appreciate your viewership and your support. Go ahead and tell your friends, tell your family. Make sure that they know that Gulf Coast Sports Network delivers you live sports here in Hernando County so you never miss any of the action. I'm Will Wilkie bringing you the call for tonight's game. Again, we apologize for the stationary shot here tonight. We are short a crew member tonight due to a, a last minute issue. So we hope that you'll bear with us and enjoy the broadcast as we get ready to start set number two, 
Springstead with control, and on the serve will be number three, Isabella Nunez. That's going to come in short. Point and control over to the Bears. And getting things started for Central will be number 10, Peyton Zakowski. That return is going to run long. Central out to a quick 2 to nothing lead. And Zero tries for the spike, unable to connect. Three to nothing, Bears. Trying to set a tone early. But they've run off three consecutive. Beautiful play by Carno. Springstead can't get the return. And the Bears have a run going here. Setting the tone early, scoring four points consecutive. And Knox, Deanna Knox connects on the tap over. Finding the empty space. They're now up five to nothing are the Bears. Substitution for the Eagles. As number one, Perry Doe comes in for Lene James on the substitution. Peyton Zakowski looking to keep this run going for the Bears, running off five straight. Central unable to connect there. And the Eagles are able to stop the run by the Bears. They get on the board 5-1. to one. Another substitution. Coming out will be Alexis Adelman. Replaced by Rylan Lazaro. Correction, Isabella Cleto in. Isabella Cleto. Beautiful play there by Janae Donovan. The return attempt by Perry Doe will run long. Point to the Bears, six to one your score. Yana Knox now on the serve for Central. Good communication by both teams on this volley. Beautiful diving play by Donovan. Keeps it alive for the Eagles. Sometimes that's all you need. Just leave it all on the line, make that diving attempt, keep that ball alive, and it'll pay off in the end, and it does for the Eagles right there. Six to two. We have a substitution now. Lene James back into the game. Replacing Doe, and James will take the serve for the Eagles. It's going to come up short. Point and control now over to the Bears, who will have a substitution of their own. Michelle Geiger now into the game, replacing number eight, Natalie Cuprez. And on the serve for Central will be number one, Gianna Carno. Can't connect on the return volley. Point to the Bears. Timeout, Springstead. And the Bears take an 8-2 advantage on our first break of the second set. Don't go away. We'll be right back. My name is Tom Roselli. I served in the U.S. Navy, 65 to 69. 
Through all the turmoil and stress battling with the VA, I've come to learn that certain organizations have their hands tied and can only proceed so far. Whereas Attorney Chris Chambers uh, has the experience and the ability to dig into the files and uh, get the results that got me my 100%. Tremendous job in helping veterans. So we return from the timeout. Springstead trying to put something together. The Bears looking to keep their run going. Carno on the serve for Central. Bunch comes up big with the block. And I'll get the point and control over to the Eagles. Replacing Lanzaro will be Durham, who will take the serve for Springstead. Eight to three, your score. Advantage Central. Nice play by Velez. And a big block by Michelle Geiger. Upping the advantage now to six. With Velez taking the serve for Central, she'll take the jump serve. The Eagles can't connect. And Central has come out firing here in the second set. They're now up 10 to three. You can tell by the swagger on the Bears, they're feeling some momentum here. That jump serve's gonna go out of bounds. 10 to four. Taking the serve for Springstead will be Cleto. Bears unable to have the return, 10 to five now. And set number one, if you were with us, Clayto ran off several in a row for the Eagles with her serves previously. The Eagles are gonna be looking to do the same here. The Bears are gonna want their point and back to control and they'll do it right there. Geiger gets it over for point number 11. And control, substitution for Springstead. Alexis Adelman comes in, replacing Clayto. And on the serve for Central is Caden Stedman. And that's going to fall in for the point for Central. Beautiful placement on that play. Lead back up to seven, 12 to five. Substitution for Springstead. Perry Doe coming in for Lene James. Stebden maintains the serve for Central. And Central can't return the hard hit by number 12, Emily Miller. And the Eagles will pick up their sixth point and get control. And send the serve over now to number 14, Kendall Bunch. Jump serve by Bunch, finds the spot. She'll get the ace and pull the Eagles to within five. Nice placement on that jump serve by Bunch. Nothing that Ayala could do on that one. Though she did have the diving attempt. And a beautiful spike by Michelle Geiger. Finds the spot. Netting the point for the Bears. And control back over 
The Bears have come out fired up, and they are connecting on all cylinders here. As we have a substitution now, Carnot out of the game. Kuprez now in as Geiger will take the serve for Central. Tap over by Miller, ruled an illegal hit. So Central will maintain control, 14 to seven. Geiger with the serve, that's gonna run long. Good discipline by Donovan to recognize the space and let it go long. Point and control over to Springstead. Substitution now. Durham coming out. And Zero coming in. And Nuneg with the serve for Springstead. 14 to 8 now. Nice dig there by Donovan. Both teams with an excellent volley here on this serve. Good communication and spacing by both teams. Beautiful diving attempt. That was Ayala. And the spike attempt by Velez runs long. That was an outstanding volley by both teams back and forth the entire way but it ultimately results in a point in control for Springstead. As that serve will come up short, 15 to nine now, as the Central fans are pumped up. Number 10, Peyton Zakowski now on the serve for Central. As Springstead's unable to return the volley, 16 to nine. And a timeout is called. 16 to 9 is your score. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back right after this. So Central has come out firing here in the second set. They have a 16 to nine advantage. You're not gonna see many better volleys than we just saw two plays ago. Neither team giving an inch, diving plays everywhere. So control remains with Central and that's Zakowski on the serve. He delivers. And that's Emily Miller on the return. She'll get the point and control back for Springstead. She'll also take the serve. It's Clayto back in the game now for Adelman. Beautiful diving attempt by Carno. And the Bears answer right back with the tap. 17 to 10, your score. As Stedman returns to the lineup, replacing Ayala. Now on the serve for Central will be number three, Diana Knox. Diving attempt by Donovan, can't get there. Outstanding placement by Knox on that serve. Running LeBear advantage now to eight. 
And they're in prime position as the Eagles will have a major, need a major comeback to get back into this. As the serve runs short now, 18 to 11. It'll be number one, Perry Doe now on the serve for Springstead. And that's going to fall in for the point for Springstead. Perry Doe finding the spot on the court. Every point is precious here. As we get all the more closer to 25, the Eagles need a run. Central looking to keep the advantage their direction. Unable to connect is Springstead running the score now 19 to 12. Substitution, Imhoff coming into the game replacing Clato. And on the serve now for Central will be Gianna Carno. And the spike attempt by Bunch will run long. 20 to 12, advantage Central. The Central fans are pumped up. You can feel the momentum on the Central side. Setting up for Geiger, and a beautiful block! Denied by number 14, Kendall Bunch! A huge play for Springstead! You know, it's not just the leaping ability, it's the timing, and beautifully played by Kendall Bunch on that play. What the Springstead deserve will be Durham. The Les on the Hitford Central. That ball's gonna go out of bounds, point central. 21 to 13. The Les on the serve, jump serve over. Outstanding hustle by Zakowski. Keep that alive for Central. Bunch again. That's going to run long. And the Central Bears are pumped up. As they get their 22nd point of the set. The last gets it over. Falls in. Diving attempt by Emily Miller. Outstanding effort, but couldn't get there. 23 to 13, the Bears are on a roll. Jump serve will run long. Netting the point to the Eagles and control back over to the Springstead side. Number 11, Savannah Imhoff now with the serve. Jump serve by Imhoff. Geiger to Donovan. Set up by Nuneg. Spike by Miller. Donovan on the return. Can't get there. As the ball goes out of bounds. 24 to 14 now. Set point. Substitution for Springstead. Adelman coming into the game, replacing Imhoff. Stedman on the serve, set point. Nice tap by Nuneg to get it over. Another outstanding volley by both teams. The Bears can't return it. Point and control over to Springstead, 24 to 15. 
Kendall Bunch now on the serve for Springstead. Bunch with the jump serve. That's going to run long, and that's your game. That's the set. So Springstead will take set number two, 25 to 15, and we're all notched up at one set apiece. Don't go anywhere. Set number three will be coming up right after this. My name is Tom Roselli. I served in the U.S. Navy, 65 to 69. Through all the turmoil and stress battling with the VA, I've come to learn that certain organizations have their hands tied and can only proceed so far. Whereas Attorney Chris Chambers uh, has the experience and the ability to dig into the files and uh, get the results that got me my 100%. Tremendous job in helping veterans. Preparing for that next step in life isn't always easy. At Legacy Wealth Partners, our combination of experience, professionalism, and access to a wide variety of products and services to help meet all of your financial goals. For a new level of attention, insight, and capability, contact the trusted team at Legacy Wealth Partners. So we advance now to set number three. We got ourselves one heck of a match up here tonight. Back and forth we go. All tied up at one set apiece. The Bears come out blazing in that second set. They take it. Now we're all tied up at one set apiece going into this third set. Hope you're enjoying the broadcast here on the Gulf Coast Sports Network. I'm Will Wilkie bringing you the call this evening. Again, we apologize for the camera in the set position this evening. We are short a crew member tonight uh, due to a last minute issue. So we are doing the best that we can, but we do hope that you're enjoying tonight's action. And how could you not? We've got two very talented teams here on display, laying it all on the line, going back and forth the entire way. An exciting varsity volleyball action. If you're new to the Gulf Coast Sports Network, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Due to the varying start times of high school volleyball games, we may not always start at the scheduled time. So if you hit that subscribe button, which is free, you can turn on your notifications and you'll never miss any of the action when we go live. You also want to toss some likes our way. We sure do appreciate it. We appreciate your viewership and your support as we are a nonprofit sports media company based here in Hernando County. So as we get ready now for the third set, Central will have control and it'll be Gianna Carno, or correction, Peyton Zakowski on the serve. And Springstead connects early. Taking the one to nothing advantage, they'll take control of the serve. It'll be number 12, Emily Miller. We have a substitution. Cleto coming in now for Imhoff. Jump serve by Miller. Nice hit by Velez. Good return by Springstead. Yeah. 
tap attempt by Cleto, but the Bears were right on it. Illegal touch on the play. The Eagles will take a 2 to nothing advantage. Emily Miller will retain the serve. Eagles coached by Andrea Gracie. The Bears by Maria Gibhart. Two well-coached teams here on display this evening. Nice dig by Carno. Velez with the tap and she'll connect. Point and control over to the Bears as they get on the board. Two to one our score advantage Springstead. Number three, Diana Knox now with the serve. That's gonna come up short, three to one. Substitution here for the Eagles as Kendall Bunch will come in replacing Donovan. And on the serve will be number one, Perry Doe. Diving play by Carno. And the Bears can't get there. So the Eagles have some momentum going here early in the third. Now up four to one. Jump served by Doe. Good attempt by Velez, but can't get there. She was fading away on the play. Five to one now. So we have a timeout now on the court. Five to one, your score advantage, Springstead. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back right after this. So we return from the timeout. Five to one is your score. Advantage Springstead. Perry Doe with the serve. Nice tip there by Kupriz. <laughs> Nuneg sets up Bunch. Beautiful setup by Nuneg. Bunch delivers the spike and the point. And Springstead has come out firing here in the third, six to one. Doe remains on the serve. Nice dig there by Knox. Nice hustle by the Bears, but it's gonna fall out of bounds. Seven to one now, advantage Springstead. And they've got some momentum here on the third. Doe again on the serve. And she's gonna connect with another point. Eight to one, Springstead. Kind of the opposite of what we saw in the second where Central rolled off to a huge lead to begin things. Now Springstead's answering the call. Beautiful diving attempt by Velez to keep that alive for the Bears. Velez again. Stedman tries to find the spot, but Springstead's there.
Another outstanding volley by both teams. Illegal touch on the play. It's going to get the point in possession back over to Central. 8-2 to two is your score. It's going to be Carno now on the serve. Ace for Carno. Beautiful placement there on that serve. 8-3 to three is your score now. Really like to see the amount of support here on display for both teams here tonight for Central and Springstead. As the hit by Miller falls in for the point. Running the score now, 9-3, to three, advantage Eagles. Coming up on the serve now will be Ryland Lanzairo. The Bears can't return. 10-3 as the Eagles now run up a seven-point advantage. Lanzaro is a lefty. So you get out that different spin off the ball. Can't connect on that return. 11-3 now. As now Springstead's feeling the momentum. Central's looking to dig deep. Get back into this set. Springstead wants to keep their momentum going. Nice tap there by Geiger. Diving attempt by Velez. Outstanding effort by Velez on that play. And she's shaken up. We hope everything's okay. That was a hustle play. Major heart on that play. We're going to take a quick break. Uh, make sure that she's okay. Uh, we'll be back right after this. My name is Tom Roselli. I served in the U.S. Navy, 65 to 69. Through all the turmoil and stress battling with the VA, I've come to learn that certain organizations have their hands tied and can only <coughs> proceed so far. Whereas Attorney Chris Chambers uh, has the experience and the ability to dig into the files and uh, get the results that got me my 100%. Tremendous job in helping veterans. So to update you on the situation, Velez was helped off the court. She's being tended to now by the central coaching staff. We certainly hope that she's okay. Got a standing ovation from the crowd, and rightfully so. Velez has had a heck of a game this evening. Uh, last play notwithstanding, that which was all effort. Laying out on that play, which led to the injury. Hopefully it's a minor one. As we return back to action now, 12 to three is your score. In the game is Ayala replacing Velez. Diving attempt by Donovan. Nice dig there by Knox. Geiger can't connect on that one. 13 to three. Advantage Springstead. And Coach Gebhardt will take a timeout for Central. 13 to three, your score here in the third set. We'll take a quick break and be back right after this. Navy SEAL veteran and endurance athlete Don Mann pushed his body to the limit and tried regenerative medicine when all other options failed. It's unbelievable. I just assumed I was going to be in pain forever. 
and I've been in pain since the 80s. Now I'm running and riding a bicycle faster than I have in seven years. Even my vision is better. I'm 100% pain-free right now, and I don't take any medications. Call Aligned Integrative Medicine for exam and x-rays to see if you qualify for regenerative treatment. So we return from the timeout now. 13 to three, advantage Springstead. Ryland Lanzairo continues to serve for Springstead. We'll come up short on that one, 13 to four, sending the point and control back over to Central. Coming up on the serve for the Bears will be number 11, Caden Stedman. Correction, Alina Ayala on the serve now for Central. With the jump serve, beautiful spot there by Ayala. Thirteen to five. Can't connect on that one as it comes up short. Fourteen to five now. Control over to Springstead on the serve now. Will be Clado. And Geiger connects. Getting, getting the point and control back over to the Bears. Fourteen to six, your score. Now on the serve for Central, number eleven, Caden Stedman. And she'll get the point on that serve. Seven to 14, as the Central fan base tries to pump up their team, get some momentum going in their favor. And they've got some, three points in a row. Pulls them to within six, 14 to eight. Attacked by Nuneg. Central was not expecting it. She's been setting up the heavy hitters all night, but she takes the tap on that one and gets a big point and control back to Springstead 15 to 8. It's going to put Kendall Bunch now on the serve, and she'll take the jump serve. A diving attempt and a collision on the play. That's Carno and Knox, both diving into it. Thankfully, they're okay. Point over to Springstead. Bunch continues with now the jump serve. And she'll get the point. 17 to eight. Again, we apologize for the fixed camera shot tonight. We're a man down on our crew due to a last minute issue, but we appreciate your viewership and your support tonight as we've had one heck of a game. Carno with an outstanding hustle play going into the stands. But ultimately because of how it connected with the Raptors, the point will go to Springstead. But you gotta love hustle plays like those. Nunez setting up Miller. Blocked by Geiger. But the return goes out of bounds, 19 to eight. Bunch will now remain on the serve. the spike she'll connect 
And Springstead has it all going in their favor in set number three. 20 to eight, your score. The Bears looking to get pumped up here as Carno is rallying her teammates. And it pays off there as they get the point and control back. Cuprez and Thornton now coming into the game. Correction, Thornton will not be going in yet. Geiger now on the serve for Central. Geiger with the serve will run long. Point and control back over to the Eagles. 21 to 9. Now your score here in set number three. And Isabella Nuneg now up with the serve for Springstead. It's going to come up short now. 21 to 10. Now we have the substitution, uh, Aubrey Thornton, now into the game, replacing Ayala. And on the serve now for Central will be Peyton Zakowski. Nonovan to Duneg to Perry Doe, who taps it over, 22 to 10. Got another substitution here on the central side, replacing Geiger is Carno, who's pumped up. She wants her teammates to get back into this game. And on the central side, we have Cleto back into the game. On the serve now is Emily Miller. And able to find the spot is Lanzaro. Ryland Lanzaro finding the back corner. Upping the score now to 23 to 10. Springstead approaching. Game point. That's gonna run long. The Bears looking to put together a run. On the serve now for Central will be Deanna Knox, number three. And Knox will connect with the point. And Springstead unable to return. Legal position on the play. So 24 to 12, your score, game point. And on the serve will be Perry Doe, number one for Springstead. The official explaining the infraction to the players. Twenty-four to twelve, your score. Set number three, as the Eagle fan base are rallying for that game point, and they get it. Twenty-five to twelve is your final for set number three. The Eagles take it, and they're now up two sets to one. Don't go anywhere. We've got more exciting varsity volleyball action right here on the Gulf Coast Sports Network. We'll be back right after this. I was fortunate enough to be able to work with Divinity on a custom skincare regimen the year leading up to my wedding. It included a series of in-office treatments, microneedling, PRP, 
hydrafacials, and an at-home skincare regimen. So I had no worries the day of my wedding. My skin was perfect. Navy SEAL veteran and endurance athlete Don Mann pushed his body to the limit and tried regenerative medicine when all other options failed. It's unbelievable. I just assumed I was going to be in pain forever. And I've been in pain since the 80s. Now I'm running and riding a bicycle faster than I have in seven years. Even my vision is better. I'm 100% pain free right now. And I don't take any medications. Call Aligned Integrative Medicine for exam and x-rays to see if you qualify for regenerative treatment. Preparing for that next step in life isn't always easy. At Legacy Wealth Partners, our combination of experience, professionalism, and access to a wide variety of products and services to help meet all of your financial goals. For a new level of attention, insight, and capability, contact the trusted team at Legacy Wealth Partners. So as we get ready for set number four, don't forget we got a lot of exciting content coming up here on the Golf Coast Sports Network. We continue with high school varsity volleyball action all the way through the season. Don't miss any of the action here on GCSN. We also have some high-powered football matchups on the gridiron starting next week. Springstead at Nature Coast as well as the rescheduled game, Wiregrass at Hernando later in November. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, turn on your notifications so you never miss any of the action here on the Gulf Coast Sports Network. So we advance now to the fourth set. We've got two well-balanced teams here, both very well coached. And that's been on display here tonight. Andrea Gacy, head coach Andrea Gacy for Springstead and head coach Maria Gibhart for the Central Bears. And just as a reminder, if you have friends and family who couldn't watch this game live with us here tonight, it will be available for replay viewing anytime that you wish as part of our archive. Just go ahead and go over to our YouTube channel and look under the high school volleyball section. I'd personally like to thank all of our partners who helped bring these broadcasts to you live. Who've partnered up for us this entire fall season for volleyball and football. Family Chiropractic, Glory Days in Brooksville, Divinity Med Spa, Legacy Wealth Partners, and Chambers Law Firm. If you're interested in advertising with the Gulf Coast Sports Network, we do have reasonable rates and packages available. Though we do have limited options still available for our fall season, we have a lot of exciting content coming up this spring with live baseball and softball action right here on the Gulf Coast Sports Network. So make sure you're a part of it. Reach out to us at info at gulfcoastsportsnetwork.org or you can visit our website at www.gulfcoastsportsnetwork.org. Dot org. And we're ready to get underway here in the fourth set. Springstead with control. Nuneg on the serve. And Doe connects, finding the back line. 
And the Eagles will get the first point of the fourth. In case you're curious, on the Bears' side, uh, there was a jersey switch, but it's still uh, Gianna Carno. She's wearing number zero, but it's still Gianna Caro in the colored jersey. And she has the diving attempt right there, laying all the way out an outstanding play. And an illegal hit on the play by Springstead. And that's going to notch this game up even at one point apiece. Peyton Zakowski on the serve for Central. And that ball is inbounds. Emily Miller connects. Two to one advantage Eagles will also take the serve as they get control back on the play. Jump served by Miller. Good communication by both teams here. The tap over. That was Stedman on the tap over. Springstead with a good attempt but can't connect. It's going to even things up now at two for Central. And Caden Stedman now to serve for the Bears. Cooper is in the game for Carno. Plato can't connect on the spike attempt. Three to two advantage central. Stedman with the jump serve. And Springstead can't connect on the return, running the advantage now four to two. Advantage Central, Springstead will take a timeout, and we will too. Don't go anywhere, we'll be back right after this. Preparing for that next step in life isn't always easy. At Legacy Wealth Partners, our combination of experience, professionalism, and access to a wide variety of products and services to help meet all of your financial goals. For a new level of attention, insight, and capability, contact the trusted team at Legacy Wealth Partners. So as we get ready to return from the timeout here in the fourth set, Springstead holds the set advantage two sets to one. But right here in the fourth, Central holds the advantage four to two as we await the serve by number 11, Caden Stedman. Plato can't connect. Five to two advantage Central as we have a substitution. Adelman's now going to come into the game for the Eagles. As Stedman looks to keep this going for the Bears as they've got a run. Kupras finds the spot. Nice placement by number eight. Natalie Cuprez, six to two advantage central. As the serve by Stedman falls short, sending control and the point over to the Eagles side. Six to three, serve upcoming by Perry Doe. Cuprez able to get it again. Sending the point and the control back over to the central side. 
Excellent teamwork by Central here in the fourth so far. Now on the serve will be number four, Alina Ayala. She delivers the jump serve. And the return goes out of bounds, eight to three. Central off to a solid start here in the fourth. That jump serve will come up short, eight to four. Next serve upcoming by number five, Rylan Lanzairo for the Eagles. And Central can't come up with the return, eight to five now. Point for Lanzairo and the Eagles as they pulled within three and she'll maintain her serve. And Geiger able to find the spot. She's come up big tonight and does so there again, nine to five. No doubt the central players are rallying behind their injured teammate. Jocelyn Velez, who got injured in the third on a diving play. And that serve's gonna run out of bounds. Nine to six. Serve up coming by Alexis Adelman, number four for Springstead. Nice diving attempt there by Carno, but can't get enough on it. And Springstead's battling back. They pulled to within two, nine to seven. And Geiger connects again. Michelle Geiger is on fire, finding the spots. Getting the point control back over to the central side. Plato will return to the game. Plato will return to the game, replacing Adelman. And now on the serve for Central will be Gianna Carno. Brinkstead can't get the return, 11-7. It looks like we have a dispute on the play. As the officials confer, couldn't make out exactly what Andrea, Coach Andrea Gracie was stating. But the play will stand as called. 11 to seven, serve up coming for Carno. Miller goes for the spike, but it's going to run long and go out of bounds. 12 to 7. Springstead will take a timeout. And the Central Bears are pumped up. 12 to 7, your score here in the fourth. We'll go ahead and take another break and be back right after this. So 12 to seven is your score here in the fourth set. Springstead does hold the overall set advantage two to one. Again, we thank you for joining us here on the live broadcast here tonight. We appreciate your viewership and your support here on the Gulf Coast Sports Network. As Gianna Carno now on the serve for Central. 
And that's going to drop in for another point. 13 to 7. Central with the momentum on their side. Springstead looking for a stop. And that serve's going to run long. Good discipline by Springstead on that one. 13 to 8 now. And that'll put number 14, Kendall Bunch, on the serve for the Eagles. With the jump serve. Nice diving attempt by Clato to keep it alive for Springstead. And a great effort by Central, but they can't get it over. Well done by Springstead to keep that ball alive. And they get the point and maintain possession. With the jump serve by Bunch. And Springstead can't get there. Point in control now to the Central Bears. 14 to nine. So we have a substitution for Springstead. Savannah Imhoff now into the game. And also for Central, number 18, Aubrey Thornton. On the serve for Central, it's gonna be number two, Michelle Geiger. And she's been on fire tonight. Nuning sets up Miller. Nice dig there by Knox. And Springstead can't return the volley. 15 to nine. And Bunch will return for Springstead. Geiger continues with the serve for Central. And a collision on a double die of attempt. That's Doe and Clato. Thankfully, they're okay as they both laid out for that one. That falls in Central's favor, 16 to nine. Off the serve by Michelle Geiger. Doe attempted the tap, but came up short. 17 to nine. Entering the game now for Central's number six, Lene James. And Geiger's run off several points in a row on the serve. And that one's gonna run long. 17 to, 17 to 10 now. That was a big break for Central, and they, or a big break for Springstead, and they needed it. Nuneg now on the serve for the Eagles. Illegal hit on the play. 17 to 11. Nuneg will remain on the serve. Mark that as an ace for Nuneg. 17-12. Carno returns the volley. Nuneg sets up. Another diving attempt by Carno. Miller. connects a huge point for the Eagles and Central will take a timeout as Springstead has battled back 17 to 13 your score we'll go ahead and keep it here for this segment Will Wilkie on the call with you this evening again we apologize for our 
set camera shot. As we are short a crew member this evening due to a last minute issue, but we've got a lot of great action here tonight. We sure hope you're enjoying it. If you haven't already done so, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's free for you, and it sure does help us out as a nonprofit organization. And you can also turn on those notifications so you never miss any of the action whenever we go live on the Gulf Coast Sports Network. Also, if you're enjoying the broadcast tonight, go ahead and toss a like our way. We sure would appreciate it. And feel free to share this stream with any of your friends or your family so they never miss any of the action as we've got two great teams on display here tonight. So 17-13, your score. The Eagles with control and Newdeg with the serve. Stedman can't get there. And the Eagles have battled back. They've pulled to within three. And a miscommunication on that play. And the Eagles have pulled to within two now. Nuneg on the serve. That's going to go long. Good discipline there by the back row for Central. And a big point by Central there to break the momentum that Springstead was building up. On the serve now is Peyton Zakowski. Big time volley by both teams here, covering their spaces and communicating well. Stedman, Stedman gets it in there. A great attempt by Miller to try to keep that ball alive, but it falls out of play. 19 to 15, your score now. Zikowski on the serve for Central. She'll deliver. Miller's return does not connect. It goes out of bounds. A huge point for Central. Twenty to fifteen, your score. As Central's able to wrestle back the momentum. Outstanding talent on display here tonight by both teams, not giving an inch either way. And an illegal hit on that play by Stedman. 20 to 16, going back to the Springstead side. That'll put number 12, Emily Miller, up for the serve for the Eagles. Stedman with the tap over. Miller on the return, a diving play. That was Carno and Geiger both laying out for it, but running out of room. And Springstead has pulled to within three, 20 to 17. Outstanding effort by both teams. Nunig setting up. That was James who goes out of ball out of bounds on the play. 21 to 17 now. Cuprez enters for Central. On the serve is Stedman. James with the volley over. An illegal touch, point to Springstead. 21 to 18. 
Uh, we've got Poe re-entering the game, or correction, Doe re-entering the game, as does Bunch. On the Springstead side, Thornton in for Central. Doe on the serve. The Eagles unable to return. Point and control over now to Central, 22 to 18. We've got some substitutions on both sides. Imhoff in for the Eagles. And Ayala in for Central. She'll be doing the serve now. Alina Ayala. She'll take the jump serve. Blocked by number 14, Kendall Bunch. 22 to 19. Geiger and Bunch went head to head on that one. Bunch able to get the block. It's going to bring number five, Ryland Lanzairo, up on the serve. Cuprez gets it over. Nuneg sets it up. Pito gets it back over. Nuneg for Bunch, and they connect! Another spike for Kendall Bunch. And the Eagles have now pulled it within two, 22 to 20. Both teams laying it all on the line. able to connect 22 to 21 timeout central wow you don't want to miss the conclusion here we got ourselves one heck of a ball game we'll take a quick break and be back right after this Preparing for that next step in life isn't always easy. At Legacy Wealth Partners, our combination of experience, professionalism, and access to a wide variety of products and services to help meet all of your financial goals. For a new level of attention, insight, and capability, contact the trusted team at Legacy Wealth Partners. Geiger taps it over. Nunez goes for the tap. Geiger tapped over by Miller. They'll connect. Springstead has tied up the ball game. And we've got an injured eagle. Kendall Bunch is down. Shaking up, but she says she's okay. And you can see the intensity on her face. There's no way she's leaving this game. Outstanding effort by both teams. Springstead has battled back. We're all notched up at 22 apiece. Ryland Lanzairo on the serve. And an illegal hit. And Springstead has battled back and taken the lead 23 to 22. And Bunch comes up with the block again. Geiger went for the tap. Bunch with the rejection on the block 24 to 22.
And Springstead has battled back. It is now match point. And Springstead can't connect. A huge point for the Central Bears. 23 to 24. Number 11, Caden Stedman returns to the game. That substitution now officially complete. On the serve now will be Gianna Carno. And you can feel the energy here, ladies and gentlemen. Not sure what the call is by the officiating here. Point rule to Springstead. Wow! So that will do it. 25 to 23 is your final. Springstead takes the match. Three sets to one. And high powered varsity volleyball action right here on the Gulf Coast Sports Network. We sure do thank you for joining us here this evening. Make sure you subscribe to the Gulf Coast Sports Network so you never miss any of the action. I'm Will Wilkie on the call. We'll see you next time.